Welcome back, Vault Hunters. This is Papa Meerkat, and we are back in the wonderful world of Borderlands. And I did look at it, uh, I didn't get any more quests in the uh, Captain Scarlet DLC, so we'll be starting the next DLC. And that is the BA Crater of BA Etude, or the Mr. Torx Campaign of Carnage, as it's known in the store. Alright, so I did some stuff off camera really quick. I used up the rest of my iridium. I bought a, a bank SDU and which only gave me two slots and assault rifle SDUs two there's the cheapest things I had everything else was 50 100 or 200 and I didn't have enough and I sold a bunch of junk cleared out my inventory a bit as you can see I had like 14 or 15 items now I only have four so cleared stuff up I kept all the cursed weapons from the DLC for now I'll probably sell them all the only one that's, in my opinion, is the best out of all the current curse weapons is the double barrel shotgun. That is the best. The one I use the most. Alright guys, you guys ready to go see this DLC? Well, let's go. Alright. Gotta go find it. There it is. Uh, B.A. Crater of B.A. Etude. <laughs> uh, you know, you, you guys know I don't cuss on my channel. Or curse, or whatever they call it nowadays. Carefully, mouth breathers of the world. This is Patricia Tannis, and I have found another vault. As you may know, the opening of the first vault five years ago triggered a chain reaction that revealed more things on Pandora. Boring! You don't want to hear about that, Vault Hunter. You want to hear about loot and pecs and explosions. I'm Tori, and I'm here to ask you one question and one question only. Explosions? Get off this echo frequency, you protein-guzzling buffoon! I'm trying to convey- That sentence had too many syllables! Apologize! As I was saying, I've discovered that this new vault is buried in the center of a large crater, and will only open, and I quote, once the champion of Pandora feeds it the blood of the ultimate coward. We at the Tour Corporation sincerely believe this is fucking awesome! It's so awesome that we're gonna set up a tournament to find us number one badass! If you want in, come to where the vault is buried. In the badass crater of Badassitude! That's not what the area is called! Badass crater of Badassitude! <sighs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That is so hilarious. Welcome to the badass crater of Badassitude, badass! This is Mr. Torque, broadcasting to you from deep orbit. If you're here, that means you want to win our tournament. Open a vault and earn the title of number one badass. Now, before you get started, you got to digitally sign our legal waiver. And I really like the music of the open world part of this uh, DLC. It's kind of slow, but it's really good sound. <coughs> wow. That cough came out of nowhere. I'll be muting that again. Man, whatever hit me last week is still with me. Hate it. That's what I do. That's, I just hate it. I'm coughing. My nose is still messed up. But back to it. Then. There is one more quest in the, uh, the last DLC. The uh, pirate booty one is the uh, take out Hyperius, the Invincible. I've never fought him before. I don't know how to fight him. I've only to, uh, fought one and one, and that would be, uh, Krom not Cromrax, but, uh, oh, what's the name of that? Man, I hate, I hate, cannot, cannot remember names when I need to. I hate that. It's so annoying. What is that? Uh, the Big Thrasher. That's the only one I've ever killed, using the B-Shield in the conference call. And not, it was, uh, after the patch. Where they fixed the B shield and stuff, it wasn't before. And he was hard too. I can't remember his name. Terramorphous, there you go. Almost Finally. Dead. My brain's like Fixed it's brain dead. It literally my my brain is brain dead. Alright. I kept the shield because it is uh I could use this. I might not use the uh, B shield this whole time. Uh, even though I do enjoy it a lot. I might switch to the other sniper rifle. I don't think I even used the sniper rifle yet. 
Yeah, let's try it out. I did keep the pimpernel, I do believe. But I put it away in the chest. Now, when you get to this switch, <laughs> it's uh, right when you press it, run back as quick as possible. Because he said you have to sign a waiver, remember? And this is the waiver. <laughs> you get hurt by that. Just kidding. Fuck the legal waiver. You're in tour grand now, sucker. Just head to the arena. Why not play you a sick guitar solo? <laughs> Abbey loves Mr. Torque. He's he's so cool. <laughs> They better bring back Mr. Torque in the uh, third game. Mr. Torque is awesome. That's, uh, that's all I gotta say. Hey, doggos. Wow, my shooting. I'm not used to this gun. You would probably argue, hey, all guns are exactly the same. Not really. And I do have this still. But I only keep this sniper rifle since it's the most powerful acid sniper rifle I've got right now. So that's why I'm holding on to it. But of course I got my other ones like the Lyuda, which is awesome. I like the Lyuda. But I, I want to like I get a, a powered up version of the um, Pimpernel. So it's pretty good too. Why am I walking around guys? Should remind me. Hey, uh, dork. Get you a car, man. <laughs> All right. Yep, bandit technical. Let's go. All right, there's a chest up there. So we're going to go check that chest out. But I think everything here is going to be level 30 maxed out in the first playthrough. So no matter what, everything's going to be just like the other DLC. People will be like, hey, you're... you're uh, Borderlands 2 Let's Play is getting boring because it's like super easy. No, it's not really. It's a Let's Play just showing everybody the game. Before I move to the next game because it's basically the road to Borderlands 3. So what I'm doing is just showing all the DLC. Well, not all of them because I don't have them all. I don't have all the Headhunter DLCs. But I do have all the base DLCs and I got a couple of the mercenary or the headhunter DLCs yeah it's level 30 still man sucks but so I'm just going doing a one-time playthrough of each game all the way up to past pre-sequel and then we'll be ready for Borderlands 3 I never played the Telltale game the uh, Tales from the Borderlands. I never played that before. Actually, to be honest with you, I never played any of the Telltale game game. Uh, like the Walking Dead game, the Borderlands, Tales from the Borderlands. I never played those. Yeah, I never played any of them. Oh, I did play one. Never mind. I did lie. I did play. Um, what was it called? Uh, the Minecraft story or whatever. Yeah, his grandmother does a look, exist in this game, too. His grandmother, he's in the, or she's in the uh, DLC, or the Headhunter DLC. The uh, Waddle Gobbler DLC. And <laughs> everybody's hated quest is in there. Because nobody wants to finish it because it takes a very long time. And I don't want to spoil too much because I don't I don't actually have that DLC, but it's not very expensive. It'll be funny seeing a shark with a bow tie. There's some chests hidden around here too. 
it's not really a town it's just a uh, filled with the uh, motor mama bandits and uh, just bandits in general there's a chest here I'm not gonna check the guns there's a borderland symbol over there don't think I can get there from here yeah but it's up there there's a way over there you got to get to Moxie's bar and then drive, jump off the, the mountain area into that spot there's another one there random loot laying around I'm trying to be a little bit quiet so you guys can hear the music and the uh, this is where the Seraph Guardian shop is for the Seraph crystals from the invincible bosses the only thing in this game that I know that gives you the Seraph crystals without having to fight the bosses is a one particular <laughs> but uh the only place you can get that uh those surf crystals is a uh, slot machine in the uh Titina's assault on dragon keep there's one box or one gambling machine oh headshot yeah and I don't think I have auto aim on, so. You may have noticed that everyone here is trying to kill you. Torg personnel included. You're welcome. I didn't want you to get bored, so I was like, fuck it, give everybody guns. We lost half of our workforce in three days, but who gives a fuck? <laughs> Torque just does not care. He just wants to have explosions and fun. He's like a big child. Yeah, these guys look like those, um, Goliaths, but they're not. They just have the body shape of Goliaths. Oh, hello. So you can't turn them into god -lyths. I think god -lyths are only, only in the, uh, the base game. Which kind of sucks. I like, I like making god -lyths. Somebody's a coward. And I'm not going to say more than that if you have not seen this DLC before. No spoilers. <laughs> Alright. Piston, what would you say to those who accused you of cheating? Of rigging fights to gain your number one ranking? Wow, Jeffrey. Well, I guess I say it have to do this. And then I tell them to never call me a shield. And you can quote me on that. Uh huh. Over here, newbie. You are now in the presence of greatness. Yeah. Get a sponsor. You're at the arena and you've got a sponsor. It's time to start the tournament. Oh, yeah. Here's what Piston's offering the Chickadee. Piston will sponsor you. Piston will take you under his muscly wing, and we will open that vault together. I've already set up your first fight in the arena. Get in there and show him that Piston and the Vault Hunter are a force to be reckoned with. Is it just me, or does it seem like he's gonna betray the fuck out of you? Hmm, slightly. <laughs> oh, Piston. Mm -mm. Down to the arena. Oh yeah. In this DLC, you have special shops that now, belong to Mr. Torque. First match will be against a single opponent, but I thought, eh, in 
Instead, you're gonna be fighting a few dozen chunks called the Horde of Horrors. Now, I could kick their asses with both pecs tied behind my back, but you wanna take it easy. Now, the this these shops right here take special coins. You can't just use money. And you'll see these uh, tokens right here. They're uh, Mr. Torque tokens. And yeah, you can only buy stuff with tokens in this shop. But everything here, you can buy legendaries. And uh, all explosive weapons. It's nothing but explosive stuff. Or in the random skins. And it's not easy to get those tokens. Alright, let's turn this in. Start this first round. Enroll in the first arena event using the battle board. Now that the paperwork's all done with it, uh, with, it's time to bust some heads. Yup. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like our next combatant has arrived. Does the Vault Hunter have what it takes to survive the appetite for destruction round? I think we all know the answer. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Really have to walk back. The rules are simple. Use the provided loot and kill everybody. The last fighter standing is a bona fide badass. Go to the center of the arena when you're ready to start. Let's go. I like the music in this DLC. You got ammo stations here if you need ammo. There are scattered around all over the place. But if you're as high as I am, you don't need to get any uh, ammo because you do too much damage. Tell my wife. <laughs> ran on top of him. Ow. Are you still fighting these idiots? You're gonna have to take up the pace if you want to be pissed at That was good. <laughs> I don't my comic collection. Oh, sorry about that, man. I never knew what those paintings were for. You find them randomly. Enemies will drop them, but I don't even know what they're for. for Boom. I'm good. I died inside a little bit. I didn't sign up. Damn it. Wow. They're actually doing some damage.
Show yourself, man. That's why I'm getting hurt so bad. This guy had slag. Time to refill a little bit of my ammo, hopefully. Mainly shotgun, that's what I was using the most. All right. Survive the appetite for destruction a bit by defeating the horde of horrors. You survived the appetite for destruction are now the fifth biggest ba uh, BA in the tournament. Your sponsor Fiston rewards your hard work with a weapon chest. And I get five tokens. Challenge completed. Uh, you found a torque token. Torque tokens can be acquired by completing battles and sometimes drop from BA BAs. You can use it to buy torque gear from the torque vending machine. Torque! <laughs> I'm not gonna share the false prize with some no name mercenary. I'm the greatest fighter who ever lived. I will open the vault myself. And you? We'll get the hell out of my arena. That noise you're hearing is the arena filling up with Armstrong gas. I've turned off the cameras. Just breathe deep and pass out like a good little coward. Wow, dude. Wow. What happened to the camera feed? Why do I hear gas? Did somebody drag the vault underway? I have no idea what is going on. Yeah, he backstabbed me. Pissed and backstabbed me. Well, we all knew that, right? <laughs> there's some ammo crates to pick up, and there's a few enemies to fight. Not very many. There's one of them. <laughs> Easy. But I said earlier, I'm not, probably not going to use the B shield all the time. It's just fun to use here and there. Junk, junk, and junk. Okay. Sure. The BA crater, a BA dude. Coward here, bro. There ain't no coward here. But nobody saw it because he took out the video okay. feed, therefore. Straight up dog time. I know you ain't actually a coward, but fuck that twist and it didn't make for some good TV. Still, you're gonna need a new sponsor if you want to stay in the tournament. Get to the beatdown. To the beatdown. Now, the beatdown is where special enemies are. That have a chance of dropping one of the rarest guns in the game. I've never had it drop before, so that would be awesome if it drops on camera. Even though it's going to be low level. It's not a very good gun, I've heard. But, who's to tell? Maybe I, I would like it. That's Moxie's bar right there, but we're not going there just yet. We're going this way. There's a mission here that I absolutely hate for Tiny Tina. I'll, I will probably have a very high chance of failing it. It's not the... Uh, well, I'm not going to spoil too much. You'll just have to see when I get there. There's a character that's there. So, yep, there's a character that lives over there. But you can probably guess who it is. Just by looking at it all. 
And here's the beat down up this little hill here. Right here. And there's a chest, a secret chest hidden up there. But I don't think it's much of a secret. It, there's a chest there. I always check it. It's kind of like a, uh, a tradition of mine since this game's been out, and this DLC mainly, is going up here every time just to see what's in this chest. Yeah, there it is. You just gotta walk around all these thin platforms. And it's a launcher. Hey, 27, I'll pick it up. I, I use. I hope they fix the rocket launchers in the third game, and make them way more usable. And I have not found all the uh, Borderlands symbols here. All the bolt symbols. I only know the this one right here. I'm about to show you. And uh, the one I found at the beginning. And here's one right here, around this corner. I've never found them all though, but I don't really look for them like very intensely. So, and there's the uh, the leaderboard for the uh, arena. Pistons at one, Flyboy, Motor Mama, Pyro Pete, and me on fifth place. Tire Iron Trousers, what a name! He's dead. You can tell he's dead. Skull, Crusher, Maniac. Stoke, Slahoma, <laughs> Thaddeus Rex. But yeah, this thing actually updates every time you go to the next step. It'll actually put you up there. It actually, it's not interactable, but it does move every time you go up a step on all those leaderboards. So if I get to like step three or place three. I go back to that leaderboard, I'll be in place three. So now there's a special enemy here. Well, it's not just one, there's uh, several of them. But they drop a sniper rifle called the Cobra. My brother, when me and my brother played this a long time ago, it seems like for you know, ages ago now, but he actually had it drop once. I never had it drop. And it doesn't come from these guys. Now these guys right here called the burners, they're the ones that have a chance to dropping the cobra. It is extremely rare. I don't know why they made this sniper rifle so extremely rare. That I don't it's not even a legendary. Oh dude. Hello! Ha! You got side shot. Yeah, I, I, I doubt I'll get it. It would be awesome if I did it or get that sniper rifle on camera. It would be sweet. And I think it's a purple. I don't don't believe it's a uh, legendary. And it's all it's all pink. So I've seen a picture of it. And my brother found it. It's got like bunnies all over there, so I didn't want to pick that up. Dang it. All right, this one's six thousand. It's only two thousand. No, thank you. Go away. Get out of my inventory. I think there's bolt symbols here too in this area, but I can't remember. Maybe not. I tell you, that false hunter coward was like a child to me. I sponsored him, brought him up, and when he came down to come down, he ran away in fear. You're not stopping me. How the mighty have fallen. Even with the whole coward thing, you're still the number five badass on the Torg leaderboard and Pistons number one. You just gotta kill your way up the list and then you'll be able to whip out your heroism and slap Piston in the face with it. That sounds like a, uh, uh, a bad joke. <laughs> 
A dirty joke. Things to do with meaty sticks, maybe? I'm not gonna go any further than that. Alright. I can't remember. I think these guys are not immune to fire. So I'm gonna go back to the volcano. I like the Lyuda, but I want a more powerful one, which I'm not gonna ever get until I go to the second playthrough. Or a third playthrough. There's another chest up here, at the top of these stairs. And uh, up ahead, in this area over here, is the last place you'll meet the burners. That's all the area you get of the burners. And after that's gonna be Motor Mama's uh, group, or gang, or whatever you call them. There's a chest here, it's not a good one though. And there's another chest over here. And a bunch of boxes if you want to open them. And here's a red chest. Oh, we got a purple out of it. Singularity. It's worth over 25, just barely. So I'll go ahead and pick that up. Pick up the ammo. Head back, because I want to take out the burners. Which is over here. Alright. What? What are you saying, bro? Don't be talking about me like that. Where's that motorcycle at? Ow. Yeah, this right here is the final area of the burners. So if you don't get it by now, you can come back, like uh, exit the game, and come back. But it's going to take you a while because it's other YouTubers that farm this thing still haven't gotten it, and there's only a very few that have on camera. It's that rare. Don't know why the guys uh, gearbox made this gun so rare. But if you get it, congratulations, you got one of the rarest guns in the game. I can't remember if it is a legendary or a purple. It's been a long time. But I do believe it's called the Cobra and it's a sniper rifle, so. Yep, that's all the burners you get. And if you go past this point and on, it's uh, Motor Mama's uh, gang, so. So you just run back and forth every time you exit the game and come back. Come back and keep taking them out over and over again. And there you go. This is the area. Yeah, past this spot where the two bikes came out, it's Motor Mama's guys, so. Yay. Yeah, I I'll, 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 I'll think I'll never get that gun. I don't want. I don't want to. It's the coward. You're gonna burn, 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 burn. Say me, it's fire in the sky. Let's talk. Fire walk with me. Fire talk with me. You'll kill Pyro Beach ass at some point, but you gotta wait until you find out where he stashed that sponsor he kidnapped. Otherwise, you can't rise up the leaderboards. The Nukem. Huh. Tark, you are hilarious sometimes. Even his shops say weird stuff at you. The people are wondering, it's like, you're playing Borderlands, why aren't you not cussing during Borderlands and then not cussing during the rest of your channel? Well, if you ever watch YouTube a lot, you know how YouTube is nowadays and yeah it it goes across everywhere you get demonetized or you just get unrecommended and all this other junk just because you say a bad word even though the people that cuss a lot seems to be the most popular but not all of them though I just don't want to take my chances because this is my full-time job by the way so 
Enjoy that. <laughs> I got some for everybody. Quit throwing grenades at me, man. Ow. That's why I want to take the B shield off. That's it. I still get damaged pretty easily. Because B shield's capacity is so low that it feels like I'm like level 20 shield. Or the shield that I, that I got on is like a level 20. Very weak. Dang, I still didn't get a headshot? Really? I was like, something moving around, I saw Shadow. No, it's just it's a piece of that guy flying off the edge. Alright. Alright, we're almost to the end of the first episode. In the next episode, I'll make it to the bar where I need to go. And then we'll probably end the episode right at the bar. Or in the bar. And it'll save my, uh, hope it'll save my place there. So when I uh, come back. Back up! <laughs> he was on me, man. He was on me good. There's like a spot on those bikes that if you shoot it, yeah, they instantly die. The bike. It's like a gas tank or something on the side, but it's not where a motorcycle's gas tank usually is. If you know the anatomy of a motorcycle. Man, these guys are doing actually a pretty good amount of damage to me. More than expected. Oh, these are burners. I thought they stopped back there. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe it's been a while since I've been here. But I know, I think that... Road runner, I don't know. But I know you meet Motor Mama's gang somewhere here. And it's not the entire area, it's not burners only. Power Pete's bar. I wonder who's in there. Maybe the guy I'm after? What was that? Team bullet regeneration. Guns are girl only. Oh, sad days. I'm getting closer and closer to level uh, 42. It's taking forever, but I'm getting closer. Feel like, well, you should just go ahead and start the second playthrough. Well, I wouldn't have enough time to actually get to that to this point in the game by the time Monday comes back around, you know. So that's my days I record Borderlands on. Alright, here we gotta go into Pyro Peace Bar. And this is where I'm gonna end my episode. We are at the end of this episode. Next episode, we will be doing this part. Alright. I'm waiting for any talking. I don't think there is a to touch that over there. Another flacker. So many flackers. Did you ever have the feeling? Pocket rocket. <laughs> Pocket rocket. That's funny. That's funny, Rock Alright. 613 tokens. I got five. Yeah. Torque! Yeah, me and my brother, when we used to play this co op, couch co op, 
we just went we just kept farming the bar for the co tokens because we couldn't take on the invincible boss which is pyro pete and all that so we just kept farming the this the bar over and over again all right well guys well i'm gonna leave it here and in the next episode we'll be doing this bar and meeting moxie and doing more quests and whatnot all right guys well if you enjoyed this content and if you'd like to become part of the meerkat nation hit that subscribe button join today i'd like to get to 100 subscribers that is my goal right now immediate goal i'm getting closer on my watch time though very close and um if you like my commentary, find it helpful, funny, or entertaining, even though there wasn't a lot of it because there's a lot of talking in this, this DLC, uh, hit that like button to show you support. And hit that like, uh, like button for Mr. Torque because he's just awesome. And um, next to that subscribe button, you'll see a bell icon. You hit that bell icon, then you become part of the Meerkat Nation notification squad. When that happens, you get notifications for everything I upload so you don't miss any of these awesome adventures. Alright guys, well, each and every one of you have an awesome day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.